This podcast contains subject matter that may be disturbing to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Four imprints, one. It's time to open the door in your mind. Sit back and listen to true horror. But be careful what you allow in. Because it's time to go through Through the fog. fog. This podcast contains subject matter that may be disturbing to some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Four imprints, one One listener. It's time to open the door in your mind. Sit back and listen to true horror. But be careful what you allow in. Because it's time to go through Through the fog. fog. This week's story is, my girlfriend is an absolute monster that time of the month. Any suggestions? Posted by user Orion St. James to r slash scary stories. I haven't been on here a ton lately. Because I've been seeing this amazing girl for a few months. Three months this week, actually, we have tons of fun together. We have similar interests. She loves the outdoors. And to top it all off, she's gorgeous. I love you. There's just one issue. And I get that this is a hairy subject, but when it's her time of the month, she's an absolute nightmare. I know all about irritability, emotional, and even physical changes, but this is insane. I'd say she becomes an entirely different person. But what she becomes isn't a person at all. She gets scary aggressive and mean. Her appetite goes berserk and she just goes from her sweet and friendly self to a total psychopath. I can literally feel some of the eye rolls out there. And I realize I'm not being very PC or whatever, but hear me out. After an absolutely perfect month with her, I stayed over at her place the first time and experienced her monthlies. We had a plan to go out for a nice steak dinner, her request, but we decided we should stay in cooked a steak and then we turned in early that's fine but later on she excused herself to the ladies room at some point during the night and didn't come back for hours i don't even know how long she took because i fell asleep anyway she was back in bed the next morning but there was blood all over the sheets oh gross couldn't she have washed up first if you think that's bad wait until you hear about what happened the second time I knew the cycle by then, so I planned an early meeting to avoid staying over, to avoid the whole shark week in her bed situation. That said, I made it up to her by taking her to the absolute best steakhouse in Boston. DM me if you're curious. What should have been a wonderful evening was ruined by a minor error. Her steak was overcooked. (coughs) Barely. Medium rare, instead of what she ordered, which is basically raw. The waiter apologized profusely, but she was such a raving bitch that I ended up having to apologize to him. She stormed off before I could even pay. Anyway, I probably could have forgiven that kind of behavior. In in fact, I did. But then, a week or so later, I saw the guy's face in the news because he went missing. I'm not joking. His picture pops up in my local feed saying no one's seen him since, wait for it, the night he served my once-a-month crazy girlfriend an overcooked steak. She was apologetic about her behavior that night when I finally talked to her about it. But she shrugged off the waiter's killing without actually denying anything. I don't know what to do now. She's amazing and everything, but she scares the hell out of me. Honestly, I'm thinking about ending it. But I'm really torn. To make matters worse, I need to decide before Friday because we have plans together. And it happens to be the next full moon. Maybe I'm just not cut out for a relationship with a werewolf. (laughs) Through the Fog was recorded by Haptic. Edited by Brad LeBaron, Haptic, and Kevin Caravan. And produced by Flyover State Park. All stories are recorded either with the author's permission or with a Creative Commons share-like license. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find links to Haptic and Flyover at State Park's link trees down in the show notes. There you can find links to our podcast on other platforms 
well as Twitter and other social media and YouTube links. Redistribution or sale of this podcast is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of both Haptic and the story authors. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. This is Flyover State Park. You are clear to land. Through the Fog was recorded by Haptic. Edited by Brad LeBaron, Haptic, and Kevin Caravan. And produced by Flyover State Park. All stories are recorded either with the author's permission or with a Creative Commons share-like license. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find the links to Haptic and Flyover at State Park's link trees down in the show notes. There you can find links to our podcast on other platforms, as well as Twitter and other social media and YouTube links. Redistribution or sale of this podcast is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of both Haptic and the story authors. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next week. This is Flyover State Park. You are clear to land.